Head on. Just say it. Look. Right, yeah. Turn right. Robust. Oh, police! Oh, Go, oh, police! Oh, hands! See him now! Show me your oh, hands! Oh, do not oh, do not oh, move! Oh, Driver, oh, turn the oh, engine oh, off. Oh, Take the keys oh, out and put it on the oh, roof. Oh, That's good. Out of the car. Driver only. Where did you keep your hands off? Keep your hands where I can see them! Hands where I can see them! Turn around now! Listen to the hands sound up. of my voice! Several men have been jailed for their involvement in an organised crime group that manufactured their own firearms from a house in Mansfield. They converted blank firing guns into live firearms before moving the lethal weapons to a lockup and they have been jailed for a total of 79 years this week. Andrew Wheelhouse ran a workshop in his garage at his home in the Mansfield area where he converted replica guns into viable firearms and facilitated their onward supply. The 41-year-old was arrested when armed police searched his address in Marples Avenue on 6th of July 2021. During the search, they found 15 blank firearms, 40 blank cartridges, an adapted lathe and press drill. And these could be used in the conversion of firearms, and metal shavings were on and near the tools they spoke about. Investigators rumbled a wider criminal enterprise, with group members communicating with each other, and found that blank firing guns were being turned into lethal firearms and being moved to an address in Bilbra. 30-year-old Mitchell Butterworth and 29-year-old Amraz Mahmood were then involved in the onward movement. The pair moved the silencer in and out of a car at an address in April 2021. Butterworth returned on subsequent nights, placing a gun he'd had taken from another address, and later returned to the property with a handgun and other items. Butterworth was supported by 29-year-old Matthew Galloway, who was involved in facilitating the sale of the firearms. Meticulous work done by the police revealed that brothers Reuben Thomas and Tyrone Thomas were part of the wider conspiracy and led on to further storage, movement and supply of firearms. They were also supported by Umar Alam. Another man, 37-year-old Darren James, was stopped and arrested in Bourmuse, Neverland in April 2021. Officers recovered a revolver-type antique firearm with converted parts and other items of interest from the BMW he was driving. Further inquiries established James had bought the firearm in 2021 and the day after they arrested him, they stopped two Aldis in Bramhall Road, Bilbra. Within one of the vehicles, they found a case containing a gun, magazines and rounds. The occupants were Alam, Mahmood, Butterworth, Galloway and Tyrone Thompson. They were all arrested at the scene. A subsequent search of a linked address in Bilbra and a car that was also parked on the drive resulted in the seizure of two converted short-barrelled guns and ammunition, another gun, a loaded magazine and also a silencer. Investigators working on the case also identified a man called Lutrim Krasniki and 25-year-old Erkaz Sigak, and they were involved in the conspiracy and received some of the firearms. After a seven-week trial at Nottingham Crown Court, the jury returned the following verdicts. Mitch Butterworth and Bilbra was found guilty of conspiracy to supply a firearm with intent to endanger life between the 1st of February 2021 and the 23rd of April 2021. Butterworth also pled guilty to possessing a prohibited weapon for sale or transfer between the 1st of February 2021 and the 23rd of April 2021. He was jailed for 12 years and 4 months. Andrew Wheelhouse from Mansfield Woodhouse was found guilty of conspiracy to possess a firearm with intent to endanger life and conspiracy to possess a prohibited weapon for sale or transfer. He was jailed for 11 years. Ambraz Mahmood of Colton was found guilty of possessing a weapon for sale or transfer and jailed for six years and eight months. Matthew Galloway, Reuben Thomas, Tyrone Thomas and Krasniki and Zakaj were also jailed, having previously pled guilty to conspiracy to possess a firearm. Galloway was jailed for 11 years, Tyrone Thomas was jailed for 8 years and 3 months, Reuben Thomas was jailed for 7 years and 6 months, Zakaj from London was sentenced to 6 years and 11 months, and Krasniki was jailed for 6 years. 
Umar Adam from Carlton admitted the charge of possessing a prohibited weapon for sale and was sentenced to seven years. Darren James from Neverfield was jailed for two years and three months. Detective Inspector Mark Addis from the East Midlands Special Operations Unit said this gang had an entire production line going from sourcing and converting to selling the sh- guns onto the streets to be used un- to be used against rivals. The extensive investigation was able to identify the manufacturing, the storage, the onward movement and the suppliers of the guns across Nottingham and into London and further afield. This was a resourceful and organised group and the criminal activities posed a great threat to the wider public. And when people ask a lot of the time how do firearms get onto the streets of the UK and this is one of the most common ones where people just manufacture them themselves. And they can also sell them on to associates and make a lot of money as well. So you can see in the future there's always money to be made. And where there's money, you'll always see somebody willing to break the law. So really appreciate you joining me for this episode. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And follow on social media at Scar City Studios and the website at scarcitystudios.com. Peace.